Hi y'all folks, this is Max from uh, GalaxyS2Root.com um, Your favorite uh, GalaxyS2Rooter, I think. Anyway, um, let's go install the latest version of Resurrection ICS ROM, which has been, I've been running the 9.4 version, which has been running flawless. Um, I have the 9.4 version here. But I'll show you how to install it. As you can see, I'm, uh, the baseband, that's the radio. Um, LPH which is the latest version and also with the latest 9.6 resurrection uh, resurrection ROM you get uh, an actual LPH kernel um, supposed to give you better battery life and uh, even better um, stuff so let's go install the 9.6 first you'll have to copy um, these six files over so you can connect it to your uh, computer and copy it over so I'm gonna do that now We'll do it together. So I've got it connected here. Um, so and then we'll go to our computer, and basically you'll download all these files, six files. Um, all right. And uh, I'm just gonna do select all, um, do copy, and go to my GTI 9100. Um, go to phone, and uh, I'm gonna put it in my download directory here. Um, you know what? I'm going to erase some of this. I'm going to erase the old resurrection stuff so I don't get confused. Here. And uh, let me paste it. Make sure you have enough space, of course. And uh, once this is copied over, we're going to um, install it. Basically, we're going to inst the installation of the ROM is the same. Um, and also the kernel is optional, but it's supposed to be better, so I'll just walk you through the whole thing. We're going to go install the ROM first, and then uh, reboot, and make sure everything's working. And then we're going to install the LPH um, kernel, uh, which requires us to install the stock LPH um, recovery, and then install uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery on top of it, and then flash the kernel and the the with uh, clockwork mod recovery touch so I'll just walk you through so once those copies uh, files are copied over let's go back to our phone and uh, I don't need this thing anymore and uh, we're simply uh, make sure you use titanium backup and SMS um, there's a SMS text backup app um, you can get to back up your SMS text and also your apps with uh, settings um, so I've already done that make sure you do that and then I'm gonna do uh, hold down the volume up center home button and the power button to get into clockwork mod recovery of course you will have to have a rooted i9100 galaxy s2 um, with clockwork mod recovery installed if you don't know um, if you don't have that go to my site galaxy s2 root.com and uh, look for the FAQ and it's all there and once you're in clockwork mod recovery here um, we're just gonna install the ROM first which is the same as any other ROM uh, wipe data factory reset hit the power button uh, or the home button and say yes alright and this will wipe everything um, so again just make sure you use titanium backup and uh, if you want to back up your SMS text messages there's a bunch of apps on the market free apps and then we're going to do uh, install zip from SD card and then choose zip from SD card um, oops or it could be choose zip from internal SD card. I don't actually don't have a SD card inserted here. Internal SD card. And then we're gonna go to the download uh, folder where I actually copied it over. Or you can also download it straight to your phone um, and it'll put it in the download directory also. Hit the center button. And then I'm gonna tr uh, flash the ROM the resurrection version 9.6 here um, I'm also getting calls from uh, somebody anyway hit this uh, center button and let's install this I'm getting calls this from um, Citibank and I don't have an account with them so I better call them back they've been calling me like once a day it's getting really annoying with an automated message you know those are the worst telemarketers they call you with an automated robot voice like call us back I'm like no um, so it's formatting it's gonna install the ROM and then we're gonna install the Google Apps and then the Google Apps uh, fixer 
and simply reboots and it should get us into the actual ROM and then we'll flash the kernel. You can stop at that point also if you don't want to flash the kernel that's just up to you but I would recommend just installing the new LPH kernel it's supposed to be um, awesome and I've been running this 9.4 ROM and I've heard zero absolutely zero zero um, zero complaints about this ROM and uh, you know that's because it's you know fairly good it's actually I think it's the best ICS ROM out there um, but this is the new version 9.6 and I'll have a full review of this well not a full review quick overview my reviews are just quick to show you what goes on and that's done and then we're gonna do um, choose it from SD card or internal SD card wherever you copied it to mine's internal and then I'm gonna go to the folder again go to download folder And then I'm gonna choose the Google Apps G Apps for Remix underscore 9.6.zip. Say yes. And this will install Google Apps. And then you'll have to install Google Apps Fixer. And let's do um, again. Choose it from uh, internal SD or SD card, wherever you put it. And I'm gonna go download again. And I'm going to choose um, gapsfixer.zip. Alright, that's done. And that is, that's complete. That will install the ROM. And we'll reboot and make sure the ROM is running. And then we'll go back into Clockwork Mod Recovery and install the kernel. So, my Galaxy S9 i9100 has been running perfect um, with this ROM. And uh, I know a lot of you ask me, keep asking me, should I update to the OTA when the ICS ROM comes, the official ICS com coming out uh, March 15th, which is exactly seven days away. Um, so don't do that. I would just install this instead. This is going to be uh, so much better than the official versions. And if, even if the official version comes out, just wait for the rooted uh, official ROM custom update that you can flash and clockwork my recovery. That way you don't have to, you know, what's the point of unrooting and then installing it and then you're going to root it again. Just wait for the um, rooted OTA custom ROM to come out, um, which should be like a day or w within hours usually. And you just flash that and I'll have an update for that too for those of you who want to be official. Um, but the beauty of you know these phones are that you can install custom ROMs, um, you know, and get custom things. Much better, better battery life, um, overclocking, everything. So this should, um, that's the boot animation, and the first boot up might take a little bit long time, but it should be faster after that. So I'll be back when this is done. So it booted up. Um, United States start and uh, I'll just show you uh, da, 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 da. next and go next finish and voila and let's go to system settings about phone and we're on um, Leroy Resurrection Remix 9.6 Actually, you know what? The kernel version is already LPH That's weird um, So I guess we don't have to install it separately Hold on Oh, you know what? You don't have to install the kernel uh, I've just read on the x ray thread You don't actually have to It's It comes with it So, that's it So I have L LPH, LPH, LPH um, This is the 9.6 um, I'll have a full review of this and looks pretty good. I got 3G there. Everything working. Um, should give you a better battery life. Uh, I'm gonna go play with it at least for um, maybe the afternoon and I'll post the um, ROM review of this. Um, but that's how you install it. It's actually the same as other, any other ROM. Sorry, don't. That was just three files. Um, I'll put that in the description so you don't get confused. You don't have to install the kernel. Um, just the ROM comes with it so you don't have to mess with anything. That's pretty much it and I got the new version. Um, now I'm gonna go go install um, 
with some stuff but looking pretty good here wow love it so um, definitely definitely update to this and I'll have more ICS ROM reviews for the Galaxy S2 i90 100 please, please don't flash this on a um, Epic 4G Touch Sprint or AT&T Galaxy S2 or the T-Mobile they're different phones um, <coughs> and also <coughs> um, also you can um, if you haven't, you can subscribe to my email list at galaxyS2root.com to stay updated ROMs for the i9100, Timo, and AT&T Galaxy S2. We update you once or twice a week um, with tips and stuff, and it, you know, it also helps me connect with my uh, viewers. Um, that would help me also greatly. And if you're on YouTube, hit that like button um, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And also, if you could share it uh, with your friends who have the same phone, um, that would be awesome. And uh, thanks to you guys for supporting my channel. Um, you guys rock. And uh, let's get high on Android. <laughs> See y'all later.